Omega-1 priority alert. Potentially disruptive non-conformists are loose in the courthouse. Please return to your homes until the situation has been resolved. Have a nice day. What the heck was Edna doing to you back there? She was trying to rebuild my personality from the ground up, erasing the parts she didn't like. Harsh. Hey, it's my mom. Hey. Don't talk to her. She can give us away. What do we do now? Now we wait for the guards to clear out so we can make a break for your time machine. Shouldn't we go help? Once we go back and change history, none of this will ever happen. I guess. No offense, Your Honor, but why'd you marry Edna anyway? She's... she's kind of crazy. Yes, now. But back when we were first dating, her madness was tempered by an ironclad sense of right and wrong. At least, that's how it seemed to me at the time. All right, Dad. Where is the DeLorean anyway? I had the wreck towed to my secret lab near Clayton Ravine. Clayton Ravine? As in Clara Clayton? Why is that significant? Well, Clara's kind of supposed to be your wife, so yeah. Fascinating. Mom, Dad, no! They'll be fine. Once we repair the time stream, none of this will ever have happened. I guess you're right. Looks like the coast is clear. Great. Let's go fix the DeLorean. I'm afraid I'll have to do that without you, Martin. What? Why? Well, from what little I understand of time travel, if you help me rebuild the time machine, your presence in the repair efforts could cause some sort of temporal paradox after we return to 1931. So what am I supposed to do? Just hang out here in Bizarro Hill Valley until you fix the time machine? Exactly. But don't worry. If things work out according to plan, you won't even notice I'm gone. You know, for a second there, you sounded almost as confusing as the real Doc. See? We're making progress already. See you soon, Martin. Good luck, Your Honor. Oh, and you might want to stay off the streets for a few seconds. Stay off the street? Citizen Brown? Emmett? He's not ah. coming back, you know. What are you talking about? Emmett, without me to guide him, he's almost useless. Before I found him, he was a miserable failure who never finished anything. But with me to inspire him, look at what we've built! Yeah, you've inspired him all right. Inspired him to turn Hill Valley into a bunch of uptight dorks. I wouldn't expect a delinquent like you to understand. You think you've inspired Doc? I'll have you know that without you, Emmett Brown is destined to build a time-traveling DeLorean and a flying time train. Preposterous. Emmett couldn't even build a dog feeder without me to guide him. Yeah, well, he did that, too. You're not the only inspiration in Doc's life, you know. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. Okay, Your Honor. Starting to get a little concerned here. It worked! Ha ha! One second I'm in the present, the next I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? 
Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. Oh, blow it out of your exhaust port, dear. Now that I've escaped into the past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't... Ah! Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh, well, I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Circuit said for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. This is where I last saw him. You, teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there, I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. What about it? I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow-bellied stool? It never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. That's what we're here for. We've got to get young you to see Frankenstein. Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? Well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re-inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper... <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to go inside oh. and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget your Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Michael, you do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine!
yeah, well, we make a lot of mistakes when we're not seeing straight. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, pshaw. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. No, oh, no, you were really onto something with the rocket car. You've just gotta... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. What day is it? Why, it's opening day. The opening day of the expo. Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay. Catch you around, Corleone. October 12th. Doc? Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late. The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip-off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits. And the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck? For the time being. I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of- Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna, where can I find her? Where do you think? I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. 